Hello there, thanks for stopping by Max's Cards and Dice Dugout. This is episode number 95, and it's Stratomatic Baseball, continuation of the Old Timer Kings, King of the Hill Tournament. This is game 28, which has the 1954 Cleveland Indians, who are the current Kings, playing host to the 1965 Minnesota Twins. Before we get to the starting lineups, let's take a quick look at the status and the situation of the hill. This is the Indians second time defending the hill. Uh, they weren't successful the first time around. Uh, they're looking for their third win. The Twins are looking for number two. And we got the Reds on deck with the 53 Dodgers in the hole. That's the 1961 Reds. All right, today's starting lineups. First for the visiting 1965 Minnesota Twins leading off at shortstop Zoilio. Zoilo Versalis batting second in center field, Jimmy Hall batting third in right field, Tony Oliva batting fourth at third base, Harmon Killebrew batting fifth, left field, Bob Allison batting sixth, catcher Earl Batty batting seventh, first baseman Don Mincher batting eighth, Jerry Kendall, he's at second base, batting ninth and pitching is Jim Cott, he is a number four hitting pitcher. So he gets that card. In 1965, Jim Cott was 11 and 18 with 283 ERA and 264 innings pitched. Now for the current Kings of the Hill, the home team, the 1954 Cleveland Indians, leading off in left field is Al Smith. Batting second at second base is Bobby Avila. Batting third, center fielder Larry Doby. Batting fourth, Al Rosen at third base. Batting fifth, Vic. Wirt, Vic Wirtz, he's at first base. Batting sixth, Dave Philly in right field. Batting seventh, shortstop George Strickland. Batting eighth, catcher Jim Hagan. And pitching and batting ninth is early win. In 1954, he was 23 and 11 with a 272 ERA, 271 innings of work. And he gets the number two pitcher hitting card. All right, so we're ready to go here at Cleveland Municipal Stadium. Game number 28 of the Old Timer Kings King of the Hill Tournament. Versalis is in the batter's box. Win is ready to go, and we are underway. That's a ground ball to shortstop. George Strickland, it's an X check. He's a two. And we roll a one. And that's a leadoff single. That ball gets by Strickland. Scored as a hit. Rosales makes the turn, but holds up at first base. So he's on first with nobody out. And center fielder Jimmy Hall. And this is a ground ball to second baseman Bobby Avila. He fires over to shortstop George Strickland and back to Vic Wirtz for a 4-6-3 double play. And there are two away here in the top of the first. Tony Oliva, right fielder for Minnesota. That's a fly ball to right field. Dave Phillies under that makes the catch for out number three. So with one half in the books, twin zero, and the Indians coming up to bat. Caught gets his first fatigue point. Or excuse me, not caught, early win. Early win gets his first fatigue point. Jim Cott's out there now, and first batter he's going to face is Al Smith, left fielder. Yeah, that's a leadoff walk for Smith. So he's on first. He's a D stealer, so he'll stay put. And Bobby Avila, second baseman. 
And that is a single. Smith moves up to second. He is a 1 to 16 running. He's going for third. And he is gunned down. Mm -mm -mm. And we'll say that was uh, Jimmy Hall. So that would be a 8 3, or excuse me, 8 5. So there's one away. Avila hangs at first base. So there's a man on first with one out. Larry Doby. That's another walk. That moves Avila up to second base. So it's first and second with one out. Al Rosen. Indians third baseman. And that's a strikeout. First strikeout for Cott. There's two away here in the bottom of the first. Two outs. Men on first and second. First baseman Vic Wirtz. And look out. This is a deep fly ball to center field. It's off the wall. That's going to score Avila. Doby over to third. And with two outs, he's a 1-17. to 17. And he's being sent home, and he is gunned down at the plate. Once again by Jimmy Hall. So, Vic Wirtz's double does score a run, but Doby's thrown out going home. And with one inning in the books, it's the Indians one, and the Twins nothing. Cott gets his first fatigue point. All right, top of the second. Indians lead one nothing. Here's Harmon Killebrew. It's a fly ball to left field. It's an X check for Al Smith. He's a two. We roll seven. And Smith makes a nice play out there for the first out. There's one away. Bob Allison, left fielder. And Allison hits a line drive to second baseman Bobby Avila, who robs him of a base hit. And there's the second out here in the top of the first. Top of the second, excuse me. Two outs, nobody on. Earl Batty. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Early win. It's an X check. He is a two. We roll seven. And Wynn makes a nice play. Tosses over to Vic Wirtz for the third out. So the Twins go one, two, three in the top of the second. And after one and a half, it's the Indians one and the Twins nothing. Early Wynn gets second fatigue point. Jim Cott out for the top. Listen to me. Bottom of the second, first batter is Dave Philly, right fielder. And that's a leadoff single for Philly. Hits the ball into right field. So he's on first, nobody out. And shortstop George Strickland. Yeah, he hits a ground ball to third baseman Harm Killebrew over to Kindle and then to Don Mincher for a 5 4 3 double play. And there are two away in the bottom of the second. Nobody on. Catcher Jim Hagen. And Hagen hits a line drive to second baseman. Kindle makes a nice play, robs him of a hit. 
and that's going to retire the side. So we got two in the books, and the Indians lead one nothing. Cott will get his second fatigue point, and we'll go to the top of the third. The top of the third, wind, early wind's going to face Don Mincher leading off. Twins first baseman. And that's a leadoff walk for Mincher. He's on first. Nobody out. And second baseman Jerry Kindle. It's a ground ball to shortstop. George Strickland over to Bobby Avila and to Vic Wirtz for the third double play of the game. Five, four, three. Some good defense out there by both teams. And there are two away. And that's going to bring up pitcher Jim Cott. And that's a strikeout. First strikeout for early win. And that'll be it for the Twins here in the top of the third. They go one, two, three again. And after two and a half, the Indians lead one nothing. Early win gets his third fatigue point. Cott, who's at two, or excuse me, Cott is at three because I did not charge him for the run. So Cott is at three, and he's going to face his counterpart leading off. Early win. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout number two for Cott. There's one away here in the bottom of the third. Back to the top of the order, and Al Smith, who is, he walked his first time up. This time he hits a line drive to first baseman Don Mincher. Nice play by Mincher over there at first. And there are two away. Two outs, nobody on for Bobby Avila. Second baseman, he is one for one. This time he hits a fly ball to center field. Jimmy Hall's under that. Makes the catch near the track for the third out. And the Indians go one, two, three in the bottom of the third. Three innings in the books. They lead one nothing over the Twins. So Cott gets his fourth fatigue point. Win, who's at three. Top of the fourth, it's back to the top of the order for the Twins. And Zoilo Versalis. That's a fly ball to center field. Larry Doby's under that. Near the track, makes the catch, one away. So one out, nobody on for Jimmy Hall, center fielder. He pops this one up, it's gonna stay in the infield. Bobby Avila is under that. Near the edge of the infield dirt makes the catch for out number two. Two outs, nobody on. Tony Oliva. Oliva's 0 for 1. Time he hits a ground ball to shortstop George Strickland. It's the next check. Strickland is a 2. We roll a 16. And it's a nice play by Strickland. Over to Vic Wirtz. 6-3 put out to end the inning. So the Twins go 1-2-3 again. And after three and a half, it's the Indians 1, Twins nothing. Wynn gets his fourth fatigue point. Cott, who is already at four. We'll face Larry Doby first here in the bottom of the fourth. Doby is uh, reached base on a walk his first time up. This time he hits a ground ball to shortstop. Zoilo Versalis over to Don Mincher for the first out. And there's one away. Nobody on. Al Rosen, third baseman. Rosen struck out his first time up. This time he draws a walk. 
one out walk for Rosen. So he's on first. And Vic Wirtz, who doubled his first time up and did get an RBI. Could have been two, except Doby was thrown out at home. There's a man on first with one out this time for Rosen. And it's a 5 9. This one's going to stay in the infield. Kendall's going to call everyone else off, and that's out number two. So two outs, man on first, and Dave Philly, who is one for one. This time he hits a ground ball, two shortstop. Zoilo Versalis over to Don Mincher for the 6-3 put out to end the inning. And with four in the books, the Indians lead the Twins 1-0. Cott gets his fifth fatigue point. Early wins at four. And here in the top of the fifth, the first batter he's going to face is Harmon Killebrew, who is 0-1. This time he hits a ground ball to third baseman Al Rosen over to Vic Wirtz. And there's one away. One out, nobody on for Bobby Allison. Left fielder, Allison is 0 for 1. He draws the one out walk. So Allison is on first with one out. Catcher Earl Batty, who is 0 for 1. And Batty draws a walk. So back-to-back -back walks give the Twins runners on first and second with one out and Don Mincher. Mincher walked his first time up. He hits a ground ball to second baseman. Now Bobby Avila. Over to George Strickland and then back to Vic Wirtz for an in inning ending and dream smashing double play. Four, six, three. And Batty's forced out at second. And that's it for the Twins. So with four and a half in the books, the Indians lead one nothing. Early win gets his fifth. Jim Cotts at five. And here in the bottom of the fifth, the first batter he's going to face is George Strickland. It's a ground ball to second baseman. Kendall, it's an X check. He's a two, and we roll a two. And that is a leadoff single for Strickland. So Strickland's on first, nobody out. Catcher Jim Hagen is 0 for 1. This is trouble for the Twins. Hagen hits a ball down the left field line. It bounces around in the corner. Allison tracks it down. Strickland comes around third. He's going to score. And Hagen slides into third. He's safe with a RBI triple. And the Indians now lead 2-0. Cott gets his sixth fatigue point. And there's still nobody out. Here's pitcher early win. Struck out his first time up. Make that two. That's strikeout number three for Cott. And the first out here in the bottom of the fifth. So one out, nobody, or excuse me, a man on third. One out, man on third. And Al Smith. Smith draws a one-out walk. Cots a little shaky right now. There's a little bit of activity in the Twins bullpen. Um, it's like Jim Merritt is warming up for Minnesota. So Smith is on first. We've got runners on the corners. One out, Bobby Avila. 
That's a fly ball to left field. That's going to send Allison back to the track. He makes the catch for the second out. But Hagen tags up, and he's going to score. Uh, throw comes back. It's cut off at short, so Smith is going to hold it first. But there's two outs and another run for the Indians, and they now lead 3-0, and Cott is at seven fatigue points. So a man on first with two outs. And Larry Doby. Doby's 0 for 1 with a walk. This time he hits a ground ball to third base. Harm Killebrew has it, and he fires over to Don Mincher for the third out. But the Indians do pick up two more runs. They give him an RBI. And after five innings of play, the Indians lead the Twins 3-0. Cott is at eight fatigue points, and I'm going to guess his day is done because he is the second batter here in the top of the sixth. Early win, he's at five fatigue points, and leading off is Jerry Kindle. And that's a strikeout. That is strikeout number two for early win. There's one away. And Jim Cott's day is done. Mike Garcia is warmed up. Or excuse me, Jim Merritt is warmed up for the Twins. And we're going to have a pinch hitter for Cott. And it's going to be Rich Rollins. Utility infielder. So Rollins will pinch hit for Cott. Pinch hit. Top of the sixth. And as mentioned, Jim Merritt will be the pitcher for the Twins in the bottom of the sixth. So nobody on one out. It's a ground ball to third base. It's an X check. For Al Rosen, he's a three. And we roll a five. And Rosen makes a nice play. Fires over to Vic Wirtz for out number two. There's two outs. We'll leave that pitcher card in here. Actually, Merritt is a number one, so we might as well replace that now. All right, so Rich Rollins... Uh, that experiment doesn't work. And there's two outs, nobody on for leadoff man, shortstop, Soilo Versalis. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout number three for early win. And that's it for the Twins here in the top of the six. So five and a half in the books. The Indians lead three nothing. Early win gets his sixth fatigue point. Jim Cott's day is done. The new Twins pitcher is Jim Merritt. In 1965, he was 5 and 4 with a 3.16 ERA and 77 innings pitched. So, Merritt. And the first batter he's going to face is Al Rosen here in the bottom of the sixth. All right, Al Rosen, Jim Merritt, bottom of the sixth, Indians lead 3 nothing. And that is a leadoff single, or excuse me, no, that is a line out to second baseman uh, Kendall for the first out. So one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And Vic Wirtz. Vic Wirtz is one for two. 
Had an RBI double in the first. This time he hits a ground ball to first baseman Don Mincher, and he's going to take that one unassisted for the second out. There's two away. And Dave Philly, right fielder for the Indians. And Philly is one for two. And this is a deep fly ball to center field. That sends Hall back to the wall. It's over his head. It's way up, out of here, gone. A two-out solo run, home run for Dave Philly. And it's now a 4-0 lead. And Merritt gets a fatigue point there. Mm -mm. That was out of here fast. So two outs, nobody on for George Strickland. And look out, this one is a deep fly ball to left field that sends Allison back to the track, to the wall. He jumps up, it's out of here, gone. Back to back, two out home runs, and there's already activity in the Twins' bullpen. And it is now 5 nothing. Merritt gets another fatigue point. My goodness. Someone's taking their jacket off out there in the bullpen, and it looks like it is Dave Boswell. I don't know how long the leash is going to be on Merritt here. This game is getting out of hand. So it's two outs, nobody on, and Jim Hagan. And believe it or not, this one deep to center field, Jimmy Hall just watches it go over his head. It's out of here. It's gone. That is back to back to back home runs. And the day is over for Jim Merritt. He is done. The luck is not going his way. And a new pitcher for Minnesota is Dave Boswell. And this is only the bottom of the sixth. So in 1965, Dave Boswell was six and five with the three, four, zero ERA and 106 innings pitched. And it is now six nothing. So Jim Merritt came out and gave up three home runs. Lucky for him, they were solo shots. All right, so still two outs, nobody on. And pitcher early win, who now has a six-run cushion. He's certainly staying in the game, pitching a shutout through six. And look out. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is a fly ball to deep right field. Tony Oliva watches it go over his head. And early win has hit the fourth home run in a row in this inning with two outs. And it is now seven to nothing. And Boswell just shakes his head out there on the mound. He gets his first fatigue point. They're going nuts in the Cleveland dugout. And we're back to the top of the order now, Smith. And this time it's a fly ball to deep center field that sends Jimmy Hall back to the wall. Against the wall, he makes the catch for the third out. And the Twins dugout has a... Sigh of relief. The Indians pick up four runs on four consecutive solo home runs with two outs. And after six innings, they lead 7 nothing. And Boswell, he's going to have to, let's see, he gets one, two, three, four. He's already at five fatigue points. But he's probably going to stay out there as long as possible and take one on the chin for the team. So here we are in the top of the seventh. Uh, early win is cruising so far. Hopefully I haven't jinxed him. He's at six fatigue points, and he has a 7 nothing lead coming into the top of the seventh, and Jimmy Hall's a first batter. It's a ground ball 
to third baseman Al Rosen. It's an X check. He's a three. We roll a nine. And Rosen makes a nice play over there at third base. Fires over to uh, Vic Wirtz for the first out here in the top of the seventh. There's one away. So one out, nobody on for Tony Oliva. And he hits a ground ball to second base in Bobby Avila. And he makes a throw over to Vic Wirtz for out number two. And the Twins just can't seem to get anything really going. So two outs, nobody on, and Harmon Killebrew. He hits a ground ball to shortstop. George Strickland over to Vic Wirtz. Three ground balls, three outs, and the Twins go one, two, three in the top of the seventh. And after six and a half, Cleveland Indians lead Minnesota Twins seven to nothing. Wynn picks up his seventh fatigue point. Dave Boswell's coming out. He's at five as a starter reliever. He gets fatigued at seven. So there's going to be some more activity in the Twins dugout. And it's going to be It's like it's going to be Al Worthington. It's going to start warming up for the Twins. So he'll be ready as needed. And first batter here in the bottom of the seventh for Cleveland is Bobby Avila. And he hits a ground ball to shortstop. Soilo Versalis over to Don Mincher for the first out. 6-3 put out. And there's one away here in the bottom of the seventh. One out, nobody on, Larry Doby. Doby draws a one-out walk, so he's on first. With one out, and Al Rosen, third baseman. And that's a strikeout for Rosen. That will be the first strikeout for... Dave Boswell, and there's two away. So two outs a man on first, and first baseman Vic Wirtz. It's a ground ball to shortstop. Versalis is a two. We roll a 14. And Versalis makes a nice defensive play. And from his knees, he goes for the force at second base. So it's going to be a 6-4 put out for the third out. Doby is forced at second. And that's it for the Indians. And after seven innings of play, the Indians lead 7-0. Boswell gets his sixth fatigue point. Uh, I was incorrect about that. He is only at three. These other fatigue, uh, these other runs are uh, merits responsibility. So he gets one for the run and two for the inning. So he's at three, and that is my mistake. I apologize. Okay, so now it's the top of the eighth. Early wins back out. He's cruising along, and like I said before, hopefully I'm not jinxing the man. He's at seven fatigue points, and he's pitching a shutout through seven. This is a ground ball to third baseman Al Rosen over to Vic Wirtz for the first out here in the top of the eighth. 5-3. There's one away. And catcher Earl Batty for Minnesota. Batty draws a one-out walk. So he's on first. And Don Mincher. Minnesota trying to get something going here. 
That's two walks in a row. Is early wind getting tired? Time will tell. But that walk's going to allow Batty to move up to second. So it's first and second with one out. And Jerry Kindle, second baseman for Minnesota. He hits a fly ball to center field. Uh, Doby's under that. Larry Doby makes the catch. The runners will hold. There's two away. So two outs. Runners on first and second. And... Boy, this is a tough decision uh, with these depleted... Um, not depleted, but 20-man rosters. Uh, we're going we're gonna to pinch hit for uh, Boswell. The next pitcher will be Al Worthington for the Twins. It's going to be Frank, Frank Kulicki uh, pinch hitting. Uh, for Boswell. And that'll be here in the top of the eighth. So men on first and second, two outs, and pinch hitter Frank Quilicki. And this is going to score a run. So that is a single with a two base advance. So Quilicki comes through and gets the twins on the board. Mincher moves to third. He's held there and Batty will score. And there goes early win shutout. So he picks up his eighth fatigue point. And there's a man on or men on the corners with two outs and we're back to the top of the order and Zoilo Versalis and that's a strikeout early wind comes back and gets Versalis swinging for his fourth strikeout to end the top of the eighth but the twins do get on the board and after seven and a half, it's the Cleveland Indians seven and the Minnesota Twins one. Wynn gets his ninth fatigue point. Here we are at the bottom of the eighth. Dave Boswell is coming back out. He's only at three fatigue points. First batter he's going to face is Dave Philly. And it's a fly ball to center fielder. Uh, Jimmy Hall, it's an X check. He's a two, roll a 16. And Hall makes a nice play out there, diving catch, and there's one away. So one out here in the bottom of the eighth. Indians lead seven to one. Here's George Strickland. Yeah, it's a one out single for Strickland. He's on first with one out, and Jim Hagan. Hagan pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. Arm killer brews underneath that and makes the catch near the bag for the second out. So there's two outs, a man on first. And pitcher early win, who homered his last time up. And he strikes out this time. That's strikeout number two for Boswell. And that's going to be it for the Indians here in the bottom of the eighth. So after eight innings, it's the Indians seven and the Twins one. Boswell picks up fatigue point number four. Early win. The 7-1 lead He's coming out to... Try to get this complete game. The first batter he's going to face is center fielder Jimmy Hall. And Hall hits a fly ball to center field. Larry Doby's under that. Makes the catch. One away. 
One out, nobody on. Tony Oliva, who's 0 for 3. And he strikes out. That's strikeout number 5 for early win. And the Twins are down to their last out. And that's going to be Harmon Killebrew. Killebrew is 0 for 3 as well. But no longer because he hits a two-out single into the outfield. So Killebrew's on first with two outs. And Bob Allison, left fielder. Allison is 0 for 2 with a walk. This time he hits a ground ball to third base. Al Rosen has that. He's going to go the short way to Bobby Avila at second base to end this game on the 5-4 put out for out number three. And Killer Bruce forced it second, and that is it. So the Indians win this one 7-1. Get some quick totals. Indians had seven runs on eight hits. Look at all that production from the lower part of the lineup. And they committed no errors. Uh, Minnesota, the Twins, the 1965 Twins, had one run on. Really? One run on two hits. What a performance by early win. That run was scored on a sack fly, and they committed no errors as well. Winning pitcher, of course, is early win. Uh... One of the better performances in this tournament. Wow. And the loss goes to Jim Cott. So Cleveland is successful with this defense of the Hill. And they will take on the 1961 Cincinnati Reds in game number 29. That'll be coming up sometime in the near future. Uh, so yeah, the Twins get their third win. Minnesota drops to one and three. And the four and two 1961 Reds are the next challenge for the Twins. So that's going to do it for this episode. If you hung out, I appreciate it. If you just stopped by to see part of this, I appreciate that as well. And I'll be back again in the near future with another replay or sport sim related video. And until then, take care.